Hello and welcome to Stray Robot Bytes. This series will be covering how to set up and make the most of the awesome Stray Robot. It will be one video per topic, so it should be easy to follow and find. And when relevant, example import code will be supplied within the video description to quickly accelerate your implementation of Streamer.bot. So let's get on with the topic today. In this video, we're going to be covering some basic channel commands. So in the first video, we made sure we could connect to Twitch with both the broadcast and the bot account. But now we want to do actually things with the bot. So we're going to start off with some basic commands. The actions tab is the first place to start when you're creating commands or basically anything you want to work with in Streamerbot. As it prompts you here, it's right click to add or import actions. The next video will be covering the import of actions, but it's not really worth demonstrating it until we've actually created some actions to test it with. So we're going to click on add. This is going to prompt us a name and a group. So for example, I want to create a command to allow users to look at my Discord server or my website. So we're going to have a website command. And I'm going to call it maybe a text commands group. Streambot has a concept of queues. Now queues are categories of actions. By default, the queue will just run the command whenever they have been triggered. But you can have a queue that is blocking. We'll cover that another time, but it's just worthwhile noting here since it's mentioned. You can tell it to do random actions, concurrent, or always run even if the queue is paused. Again, we'll cover this in a bit more detail. Just for basics, setup commands, you really just need to back the name and maybe a group just to help organize things. So we've got an action that's currently doing nothing. In the sub actions on the right hand side, we can right click here and this is where we get to add the action for it to do things. Now you see there's a lot of options here. But to start with, if you just want to interact with some Twitch chat messages, for example like shouting out a website, we can do it through Twitch send message to channel. We can pick which account, whether it's from the broadcaster or the bot. So if you only have one set up, it will always fall back to the broadcaster. But if you have preference, you can specify it here. So for my website, I want to check out my website at https colon backslash backslash brflad.com. We've created our first action. Really, that's super simple. Now that action by itself isn't set up, it doesn't do anything. We need to have a way to trigger the action. We're going to cover in this video how to do it by command. Again, right click in the white area, select add. The command we want to use, typically commands in Twitch are prefaced by an exclamation mark, but they don't need to be. So I want to do website here, exclamation mark website. Again, much like before, the categories have got groups here. So I want to have a text commands group. Again, so you'll find if you're using StreamerBot a lot, like I have, you'll get a lot of commands, a lot of actions pretty quickly. And having categories really makes it a lot easier to deal with these. Under action, you can see the only action we can pick from is website. But obviously, as you build up actions, you get more. The latest action is always at the bottom. Now, location uh, is start here. We could be fussy and say it needs to match exactly what has been typed in, or anywhere in the message or at the start. Typically, start is what you want. Anywhere could be if you wanted to pick up a particular word. For example, is, is something that you associate. That could, word in itself, anywhere in a message, could trigger an action. So it gives you a lot of options. Different sources as well, so it could be a resub message, could be a resub message, or a whisper. So if someone actually whispers you on Twitch, it could actually then uh, do that action. 
we've got an ignore bot account. So if your bot types in something, maybe if you're using the location anywhere, you probably want to ignore the bot account. That might trigger something to run which you don't need to. You've got various uh, counters that you can use as well. Typically, it's um, only specific commands you might want to use that for. And finally, you have permissions. Now you can allow either all by default or deny all by default uh, if it's blank for those. Or if you start specifying either groups or users, it'll be locked down to just those users. For example, if one's the moderators, I could set moderators here. And only moderators in the channel, this is a group that's picked up from Twitch, will be able to run the command. But in this case, I want everyone to look at the exclamation art website. So let's click on OK, and we've found here we've actually created our first command. We can change the views to make things a bit more friendly here. We also, I didn't mention here, we have cooldowns. So this is a cooldown in seconds of how often the command can be run. As a broadcaster, those don't apply to you, but to users in chat, that will uh, will take effect. So maybe you want it only to be used by a specific user once every minute, so every 60 seconds. And combined with other people, once per 10 seconds, say, would, would be fine. Let's quickly test that. Exclamation shot website. And the bots responded with it. We've created our first command. Let's do a couple of other commands in this uh, video before we wrap it up. So again, back to actions. Let's do something where we actually use some user input. I want to add something in. So I'm going to have a suggest command. I want it in the same group, text commands. And sub action, I want to switch send message to channel, much the same as before. Now, underneath this message, you have a lot of typical useful um, variables. So to pick up the user, if you want to send something back for the username that has been um, whoever's run the command, we can use percent user. So for example, I can say percent user percent. So whoever runs that, for example, BR Plaid, that will be replaced by. And suggests, there's a few different options here. For this one, I want to just to repeat what I've said. So raw input, that's at the bottom. So this is the most basic way of getting user information and what's typed in. Again, we need a command to go with that. So exclamation mark suggest here, I'm going to keep it in the same group, select the suggest action. Again, permissions, I, I don't care about a timeout here just to Okay, so you show this example. So suggest more videos. And it says the off ad suggests more videos. So we're getting the input from the user account. So we've seen what can happen when we're using some basic command, raw input just to push it on there. But if you want to actually match user accounts, let's have a look at a couple of different options we can do with that. So we're gonna create a new action again. I'm gonna create a wave command. Again, gonna keep all the examples today in text commands, in commands, add in exclamation mark wave. The text command there and wave. Again, default permissions is just fine. Let's add the sub actions. So I've done a slightly different order here because it seems the same as before. Now, Twitch, you can get in user information for the target or follow age if you want to use a follow age as well. But if you want to say you can get the information from the current user account, but actually you want to get it from input. So if you want to say wave at a particular user and to maybe match it with its name typed in or the at and the name, we need to do the um, ad target information. 
So like before, you can send a message to channel. So sent user, sent waves to, sent target user is what to use here because you grab that target information. Let's give that a try. So we're going to wave to app virtual reality bots. And you can see the at has been removed. It will also work if I do it without the at sign as well. So this is the kind of command you want to use if you're using a targeted user account. Now let's extend that a little bit further to a command that most people want to add with their bot, a shout out command. So I'm going to create a shout out action first. So text commands again. Click on OK. So let's uh, make a copy of string because I'm lazy. <laughs> so add action, Twitch, send message channel, and paste this in. I'm going to talk through it. So please check out sent target user. I'll have to add that action in a moment for that. Over at twitch.tv forward slash target user, again for that username. And they were last playing percent game. So percent game is what's picked up from the getting the Twitch information for that target user. Now, if the user is not a streamer, it will show blank. So we need to be, you know, so if they don't have that, then it's actually not a user account we can shout out. We'll touch on that shortly. We'll extend that in a moment. So like before, Twitch, get user information for target from the input. I'm going to move that up. Now, if we need to move action, sub actions further up or down, we can right click and move up, or we can press control and up and down as well. That'll move them. So some nice keyboard shortcuts that aren't so obvious. So I'm going to create a command to go associate it with this. Exclamation mark SO is what I'm going to use. Again, same group, shout out action. I want moderators to have access to this one only though. So, shout out, touch reality bots. It shows blank because the It says blank because they aren't a valid user. So, uh, yeah, that's come up, confused me because it's uh, <laughs> not with my regular bot, which is running. I'll have to close that down now. So, we look at this first one here. Please check virtual reality bots at that they were last playing blank. So, there's a couple of things we can do about this. But if it's a, let's pick a Valid account first, so VR Flad. So it picks up our last playing since while I was on the stream. Let's see if we can improve that shout out action a little bit. So within actions here, we can do logic. So we can do if. Now we know the variable game is it actually doesn't, it exists, but it's nothing. So we can say if it's nothing, then we uh, we do nothing and we can break. If we continue, we can do an additional action. So an action on the left hand pane here, not the right hand pane. Alternatively, take to break and stop and do nothing. So we are saying here, get target information. If it's not a valid shout out, let's stop. Let's not do anything. We could change it to be another action to send a message to the channel saying, look moderator, this person's not streamer, what are you doing? Let's see how that works. So we'll try a valid shout out first, that looks good. And then we'll try a shout out to the bot itself. Nothing's happening. It's doing that check for us. So we're starting to see the value more of streamer bot. 
And that wraps up this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's something you'd like to see covered in a future video, please do let me know, either in the comments below or on Discord. If you want to see the bot in action and for other examples, please check out my Twitch channel. VRFlad.com here has links to that as well as my social media and also directly to the bot. Other links around the bots, including others that provide streamer bot content, can also be found in the description below. And finally, thank you to Nate for making such a great bot. Um, he can be supported via Patreon, and that's also linked from the streamer.bot by page, but it's here, uh, patreon.com slash nate1280. Thank you all, and bye-bye.